growing your business with direct bookings. Thank you so much for everyone joining us today. As a quick introduction, my name is Keegan Cotton. I'm the Director of Customer Success for Guesty in the Americas region and our APAC region as well. Um, if you've been to these webinars, you've seen this wonderful headshot of me where I thought sideburns were a great idea, uh, <laughs> and I've stuck to it since. So as a quick overview of what our webinar is going to be today, we're going to run through just a quick couple of opening words for me, going through some data points that we've seen in the space of direct reservations uh, in the past couple of years and kind of what direction we feel from different partners and from our own research, I guess, the what direction uh, this industry is headed in regards to direct reservations. Then we'll jump to presentations from a member of our product team, Irene. Um, uh, Nat Rosasco from Olive Street Design is going to jump in and give his take on kind of our website functionality and what some tips and tricks on your direct branding website, how to kind of get the most out of it. And then we'll hear from a guesty customer of property management himself, Carlos Kohab, who's going to talk about how he uses direct reservations to kind of fuel his business growth and how that's been going for him since coming to Guesty. And then lastly, of course, we'll find we'll finish things off with a panel discussion. But first, before we do that, I want to officially introduce our speakers here. So with us from Guesty, our, our product manager who oversees a ton of functionalities that you may be fun, uh, familiar with, our multi-calendar, our direct reservations, a lot of great stuff in the in the system. Yurin Lair is here to join us. Then we have, like I said, Nat Rosasco, the principal and creative director for Olive Street Design. And finally, as I mentioned, Carlos Kohab, the CEO and co-founder of Capitalia Living, um, one of our uh, property management customers. All right, here we go. So taking a look at the overall trend of direct reservations over the years, all the way back to 2018, which to me feels like 10 years ago at this point. <laughs> so an overall trend in direct bookings is we've seen a dramatic increase in the last five years. Data shows a steady increase in the last few years with a bit of a, a drop off in 2022, actually a pretty massive drop off compared to the growth before that. So with this data in place, 2023 can kind of go either way, right? It can either continue to go down based on this drop we've seen in 2022, or it might jump back up. Based on the data that we're seeing uh, from Transparent, one of our data partners, we're actually seeing 30% as the projection for the uh, percentage of direct reservations that will be flowing through to professional property managers with direct reservation websites in 2023. Now, what's the reason for this one stark jump from 2018 to 2020, and then this weird lull in 2022 that we're saying is going to bounce back up? Well, first of all, between 2018 and 2020, one that's a two-year gap, there's a huge uptick in a couple of things. One, technology, like Guesty. Not a lot of property management softwares were around, it, around like the 2016 to 2018 range. And a lot of the hosts that were hosting their properties weren't fully into the space quite yet. It was very young at that point. So with technology advancing, it's becoming easier and less expensive to create your own website. People are getting more professional inventory is consolidating between professional companies rather than just kind of mom and pop being on these OTAs. And then of course, demand. The industry saw pent up demand after the pandemic and managers tried to utilize that by cutting channel commissions and trying to step away from the loss of control that they had from operating within OTAs. I remember back when I was at Guesty, prior to the pandemic, very common conversation I would have with users is, I know, I know I need a direct website, but you know, I'll get to it eventually. Things are going really well for me at this point. But after the pandemic, a lot of that loss of control from OTAs was felt, and we saw a big surge in people pushing towards direct reservations. Now, why the drop off in 2022? If people, there's increased demand, people like more control, why would we see people coming away from uh, direct reservations? That's where this data can be a little misleading because this isn't necessarily people pulling away. It's more so an oversaturation of the market of newer PMs who haven't figured out the ball game yet. We saw a huge influx of inventory in 2022 that has kind of pushed overall occupancy down and kind of reshaped the game where we're having to be a little more aggressive with ADR adjustments instead of really being able to make the most of the bounce back from the pandemic. Now, supply has gone up, demand is up still, but as supply goes up, demand stays constant, we're gonna see some changes happen in the landscape as a result of that. But luckily we're looking more towards more direct uh, reservations as time goes on. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, that 30% figure for 2023. 
Continuing on here, just looking within Guesty's customer base ourselves, we did an analysis of our enterprise customers who uh, we, we classify as, I want to say roughly about 200 properties. And what we found is that there was 37% on average of all their reservations were direct reservations in 2021. Um, when we talk about the benefits of direct reservations, one of the easiest things that comes to mind for people is, oh, I don't have to pay a channel commission. So that would be like, let's say a 15% increase in revenue that I'm seeing from direct reservations. But what we found with direct reservations from our enterprise customers is actually there's a 40% increase in average nightly rate for, for guest users using direct reservations between uh, 2021 and 2022. So this kind of highlights how it's not just a slight advantage over using an OTA, but it actually gives you a lot of room to grow and uh, maximize that revenue coming from that channel, which kind of speaks into how, why this is such a beneficial topic to really hone in on and discuss during economic uncertainty, aka whatever has been going on for the past three months where everyone's kind of teetering on the edge. Are we going to recession? Are we not going to recession? But it's definitely impacting consumer behavior, no matter which way you cut it. So why is this such a good thing to focus on during a recession? A couple of items that we've kind of discussed. Direct impact on your revenue, no third-party commissions, more money in your pocket. You have more control over it. You're not beholden to the uh, cancellation policies of these OTAs. You can run your own cancellation policies on your own terms. You're avoiding any dependencies on these OTAs. If something goes wrong, you don't have to work through a middleman in order to, to resolve that issue with a guest. You're much more likely to increase repeat business because your inventory isn't amongst thousands of other uh, property managers inventory on an, an OTA. It's just your inventory. People become familiar with it and are returning uh, to stay with you because they had a positive experience. They affiliate that positive brand experience with you rather than affiliating it with a particular OTA. Uh, customer acquisition costs, lower as uh, as you would anticipate due to the lack of channel commission, and then overall strength and growing of your own individualized brand. Uh, not to say necessarily like your name is getting out more and you're ranking number one above Airbnb, but you're consistently striking a good tone with your guests and they are becoming familiar with your brand over time. In addition to also helping your brand grow digitally, on Google, uh, where we're able to emphasize things like SEO, which we'll get into later as Yurene discusses, um, and some other items that really help your website stand out. All righty. So Yurene, you want to go ahead and take it away from here? Yeah, thank you, Keegan. And again, welcome everyone once again. And I'm sure many of you were impressed by the benefits of direct booking that were just presented to us and everything looks so shiny and amazing and let's have it. Uh, but I also understand that some of you might be feeling overwhelmed by the challenge of actually achieving those goals, because this is why we're all here, to understand better how it can, how we can make these direct bookings work for your business. So in the next uh, 15 minutes or so, um, I'm going to share with you some of the best practices that we gathered here in Guesty in order to get the best strategy and the best tools to get more direct reservation. As a product manager at Guesty, I've worked with many property managers who have faced the same challenges as you are. And now we're going to take this step by step and make sure that you have everything needed in order to get more direct bookings. So first, as mentioned, achieving this high percentage of direct bookings can be a challenge, but with the right tools and strategies, it's, it's certainly achievable. Uh, as in Guesty, we developed a range of powerful tools that speci specifically designed to help property managers increase their bookings and take their business to the next level. Here we're going to share with you some of the main items we have here, and we're going to dive in and explain more about each one of them. We have the website and the booking engine, revenue management for direct reservations, the manual reservations, and the CRM capabilities. Each one of them have a different uh, role playing in the direct booking mix. This is why we call it the Direct Reservation Hub, to give you all the tools and all the strategies you need. So let's dive in, learn more about them, and understand how they come into play when you want to level up your direct booking game. First, we go with the guest websites. So guest websites and engines are the first thing to mention, not by a mistake, because Having a website now became crucial, not just for vacation rentals, not just for our industry, it's for every business. Having a market marketing website to show your brand, um, it's essential to be and to show your professionalism. 
Uh, so your guests will be looking for you. I mean, they will be searching the different OTAs, they will be searching the web, but they will be looking for you. So when they do it and they when, when they go Google, when they go Instagram, Facebook, and so on, they will get your website. And we want to make sure that this website is as professional as possible and show you all the benefits that your business has. So getting in guest website will allow you to create those amazing websites. And we'll see it shortly, uh, both by Nat presentation and Carlos and, and myself, how we can create those websites, how we can uh, provide outstanding website to our uh, guests to know our brand. In Guesty website, we put a lot of effort in getting the best templates for you. The templates we got in Guesty website are, uh, are specified for direct reservations, so it will be best for our industry. In addition, the booking, the booking engine is an essential part of this, this, um, this package. What it means, the booking engine allows you to actually collect the reservations. If we take the website and show it off and, and showing to the guest how it can look and how it can feel, the engine itself is where the brain sits, where you got all your prices, your revenue management um, uh, setup, like promotions and coupons, where we get all the different uh, property details and all the data you got from your property management so uh, software right into your engine and right where your guest can sit. So having this mixture between these two, is giving you the best tool to stand out and show to your guests. And now let's take it into practice. Uh, we see that there is a lot, a uh, big trend of guests that now, like mentioned by Keegan, they know better. They know to look at the OTA and take the name of the property or take the uh, details of the property and look online to find the actual, uh, the actual brand behind it. You want to be there when they're looking for this, uh, these names. So make sure your name, your name of your properties are the same ones between the different OTAs and your booking engine. So our SEO tools and all the advanced uh, an analytics we have can grab it and make sure that you um, appear first in Google. Mentioning that, and you will be seeing it soon uh, with our uh, partners here, uh, Guesty website have the best in class SEO tools. It means you can get everything uh, to be uh, the, top of the class in Google uh, searches. And this is what we want when, when guests are searching for you. Looking forward, is the, sec and the second thing is the revenue management. So we got the guests into our website, the week they're in, they understand what's going on. Now we want to make sure it's worth for them to book direct. This is where the revenue management come into play. The revenue management allows you uh, to set up different trade strategies. So you can have different trade plans and different uh, prices between the between website and the OTAs to defer your direct uh, reservation uh, offering. This is why you want to create a unique rate plans and promotions for websites. So for example, creating a promotion of uh, 5% only for website visitors that will be visible for the guest and let them understand, hey, I've got a special promotion because I'm on a website. This, these are the things that will uh, help your guests to uh, book with you and capture it. Uh, in addition, in guest revenue management, you can create customized coupons. This is a great tool to, to attract more travelers. We mentioned before the different, uh, uh, different strategies to market yourself. So one of them is to provide different coupons. In guest, you can provide two types of coupons. You can get the percentage coupon and the fixed fee coupons. So for example, you can have a special special offer for Instagram uh, for Instagram followers and so on with a special coupon code. They can go into the direct website, put your put your coupon code and get this uh, promotion. So that's a great way to attract users and guests. Sorry. In addition, the coupons are uh, the it, the coupons can be visible for returning guests. So if you had a guest that's been uh, at your place and they liked what they see, you can send them a coupon for. Uh, their next visit. So you, this is how you can capture them to make sure they will come again. And for them, they will have some benefit by coming again, as well as showing this coupon or uh, sharing it with, with their friends. So using the coupons, the rates and promotions are all part of revenue management tools uh, that will help you to provide uh, better, provide better uh, strategy and better pricing for your users. 
But that's not all. Actually, the guest revenue management is constantly evolving with exciting new tools like the upcoming embedded dynamic pricing tool. With this tool, you will be able to maximize your revenue, save time, and grow your business. So stay tuned because this is going to be big. Next thing is after we got, we got a user in the website, then he saw the amazing prices and everything is great, but still something is missing. The next part we're going to talk about is the menu reservation. Menu reservations are, um, are specifically for your staff to make their reservations on the Guesty platform. It allows you a full, a full uh, customization of the reservation. So you can change the prices, you can change the different promotions, rate plans, add the different coupons by yourself. And having a tailored made, a tailor-made quote sent to the user. So once the guests want to be in your place, you can send him a specific quote that is personalized for them according to their needs, according to their request, and then you can uh, create it right from our platform. In addition, we have our automated check-in forms and rental agreements. This will help you once the, the guest has, has decided and confirmed their reservation, then you can send him a check-in form to get more information about your about the guest. Like, for example, their preferences, languages, um, their um, meal plans, and so on. So you can get more information on that and make sure you get the best experience for your guest. These automated tools, in addition, they are reducing the time needed by your team. So you don't need to um, stand in the lobby and make the check-in and so on. You just send it online, everything working automatically, and you get all the data right in place into your system so you can manage everything from Guesty. And once we got it all completed and we got a reservation, there is one last point to make this a uh, perfect package, the CRM capabilities. CRM capabilities are the capabilities that helps you to hold more information about your guests and get a better relationship with them. So you can store and leverage rich data about each of your guests. So as like example, in the example of the check-in form, you can get more information about them, get more details, ask them questions, get answers, and get them um, all this information. So like we know in the OTAs, we, we don't always get all the information we want about the guests. So now with direct bookings, you can really leverage and make sure you have everything you need. In addition, you can segment your customers according to guest habits and preferences. It's super critical if you want to create a marketing campaign or if you want to make sure you get more returning guests so you can really find trends in your property. So for example, in one property, I can find out that most of my, of my guests are pet lovers. In this case, I will bring more things that will be uh, achievable for pets or be more pet friendly. So these, this information is crucial for you to run, uh, to run your business and make more, uh, sorry, to get better decisions about how to act in the future. In addition, you can filter contacts with reservation data and see holistic view of all data related to your customers. In this way, with this package, you can have all the information needed for your customers and provide in the future uh, better experiences for all of them. So, Having look at all those uh, items, it sounds big and sounds uh, appealing. So now let's see how it comes into play. So here we can see uh, my guest account I've just created for this test. All the Zoom stuff here. So what we're going to see here is how this setup works actually in Guesty. So first things are the website and the engine. They're both integrated in our integration part, integration, um, integration page. You have the Guesty website and the Guesty booking engine. You can see that once you get in, you can get all your information about your website, ability to edit, get a thumbnail, and so on. We'll see it shortly. But first, I want to check the revenue management. As mentioned before, we have a rate strategy, rate plans, promotion, coupons. Each one of them can add a lot of uh, a lot, a lot to your strategy. So, for example, a rate strategy will allow you to change prices, block some specific days, and make special things for holidays, events, seasons, and whatever you want. So this is how you can create reoccurring uh, rules for a business without you need to change all the time the prices or the restriction. In this case, we made a restriction for no, without check-in on Monday, without check-out on Sunday, and we'll see how it comes into play later. Next thing we have is the rate plans. The rate plans 
allow you to create different red plans for different channels. For, for this example, we have a red plan specifically for Expedia, and we have two different red plans that will play in our direct booking. One is a standard rate, and that one is bread and breakfast, including a breakfast inside it and a bit more uh, expensive in this case. Next thing to see is the promotions page. In the promotions I mentioned before, you can create a specific promotion that will apply on your websites. So in this case, we have a 5% promotion for any booking that's coming in your website. You can add any other limitation as, as you want. So for example, you can have a only between specific dates or between different nights or specific listings. Everything is possible here. But what we see here is a indication for, you, for your guest that they get a special promotion for their site. Last but not least, our coupons. So as mentioned before, we can have the coupons here showing the book direct uh, give us 7%. That will be something handy when we go to the site. So any guest that can will come with this, uh, with this uh, code will be able to run this one and get this promotion. So looking at the revenue management, let's jump in to the interesting stuff to the actual website. So here we can see a guesty website created uh, lo not long time ago. First thing we can see that it added a pop-up, join our newsletter, sign up for mailing. Always great to get this information about your uh, guest, about which, about your emails or anything that you can offer them. This is a really basic one, but I'm sure you can come up with uh, great ideas of how to approach your guest and get their uh, details. In addition, you can see that Everything here is fully customizable and added with the properties, photos, and our um, booking engine is already embedded. In addition, something that I like personally is to add these kind of uh, expense about the, about the coupon. So you can enjoy this coupon of 7% if you just have this code. And again, we'll take it into consideration. You can see more information as, possible, as you go, uh, ability to create a beautiful blog with interesting um, interesting text. This is, again, another game changer for SEO. Really important to add all the content and data. And the last things before going into the actual rentals is our ability to change languages. So we have a support in endless languages. You can just choose and define by yourself which language you want your uh, site to be. In this case, we'll go for French just to explain and show. So everything will be translated and it's already embedded in your website. So that's a great capability. So having a look at that, I got convinced that I want to book. So let's see how it goes. So next step for me, let's click on book now or on any of these properties. And what will happen is that I'm going into the booking engine. Now we're in guest booking engine. You can see that here, you can get more information about each property. You can have the map, you can compare between the different uh, properties we have here. You can create advanced search like pricing, property type, amenities, and many more. So once we are here, you can see the different prices and the images. So let's go for this example for this property. Jumping in, we get more information. All the photos are synced directly from Guesty. So everything you update in Guesty is or automatically updated in the website. And you can have your search. So as a reminder, we disabled Mondays for check-in and Sundays for check-out. So if, for example, I'm looking for a specific date, you can see here, you can see that it's automatically updated according to your searches. So let's take this kind of search between April 11 to 18. And the guest can see the different rate plans. Remind you that the rate plans we just saw before, we have the bed and breakfast and the standard rate, each one with his own pricing. So the guest can see and understand what are the differences between them and choose the one that worked for him. In this case, we'll go for the bed and breakfast. Now we can see the full uh, breakdown of the reservation. Again, all the information coming from your property management software, from Guesty, with the cleaning fees, taxes, and everything around it. In addition, mentioned, we have the website promotion that already kicked in with 5%. We got this indication that I got a, a promotion. And now time to play the coupon that I just uh, copied before. Adding the coupon will automatically add this 7%, already updating my price. And I got a new total, so we can be ready and go to book. The last step, giving us all the details that we need for getting the reservation, 
everything is in place. So this is the time to just create a reservation. And that's it. This is how it works for guests to end to end to create a reservation. So now you're asking yourself what's happening in Guesty. Great. So the next steps in Guesty, as mentioned, we can get everything in our multi calendar. This is our new reservation. So when we look, look about the guest and their preferences, we have everything already integrated. So first thing in Guesty, you can see the rate plans, the cancellation policies, everything is already uh, visible for you in the reservation. So you can take advantage of it and understand what was booked in the uh, in the booking engine in addition like mentioned we have all the guest information uh, right in front of you in this case it's really basic but as you mentioned we can add more with the check-in form and with the crm so we can have all the information about this uh, specific guest adding allergies preferred languages pronouns and so on we can see if these specific guests had past reservations and get more information about him or if we want to get how much he paid, how we paid, and so on, and activity log. So everything is working together to make sure you get the best suit around it, to making sure the reservation go from A to Z from the moment your guests are approaching and looking for you until they actually made a reservation and they already register in your system. And that's it for now. Uh, so I want to thank you again, and I want to welcome Nat Rosasco uh, to the stage. Hello, everybody. Nat Rosasco from Olive Street Design. Um, we're a, a new design agency, development agency to Guesty. Um, happy to be here. Um, I'm going to go through some strategies to drive traffic. Um, everything that Irene had talked about is, is just point on um, the significance of having your own website right now. It's just absolutely critical. And I would just ask you if you were going to go to, let's say, Puerto Vallarta and stay at a really nice place in Puerto Vallarta, and you saw someplace didn't have a website, someone had one, the pictures were terrible, and you had a gorgeous one, like maybe like Carlos has, where would you book yourself? And I think the answer would be, you would pick the one with the beautiful pictures. And as a testament to, to the, the Guesty websites and to Guesty, I actually went on Carlos's website that he'll be talking about later, and I saw a property, I sent it to my wife and we're gonna send her whole family there. But what was interesting, the website was beautiful. I went to book in the Guesty engine. We deal with a lot of software service companies. Guesty was seamless and beautiful. And that's, that's just a, a plug because I actually went through it yesterday to book. Um, this is just a little bit about who we are, a little bit of bragging. Sorry about that, but that comes in my presentations. Um, we're very well awarded. And I think Guesty chose well when they, they chose us to, to help you really get some beautiful websites. Um, we built actually over 2000 websites right now. So I'd like to think we're at the point where we're pretty good at this. Begin with a beautiful branded website. Again, as, as Yurene talked about, Th this is so important and especially and points very well taken with the, with the data that he came up with is through COVID people are just so much more used to going online and looking at these things and searching online and with guesty websites you're able to get a website built for you for a ridiculously reasonable amount of money to showcase your beautiful property and to drive more leads. So begins with a great website, social media experience and reviews, reviews, reviews. Google my business listing is critical. It's free to set those up. Um, and it said here, your appearance matters. Reality is people do judge a book by its cover. On the right-hand side, there's a website we've done for Casa del Azul in Mexico. And you just see it just it's it's beautiful. You, you need at least get it to the point where you'd probably contact these people and say, boy, this might be worth booking. Um, make it simple for your customers to do business with you. Um, that's where I think the websites that we design and develop with Guesty and then the Guesty booking platform really streamlines everything and makes it easy and elegant to book. That, that's really a critical factor. Google and Facebook reviews are critical. 
you have to have a Facebook page now. You have to have an Instagram page now. And you have to have a Google My Business listings. All those three are free to do. And then I would urge you to ask your clients, family, friends, people that know you, not to lie about reviews, but to post reviews for you. It's really, really important. Um, our agency, we get into Google twice a year um, and they tell us things. This is important. And again, this is free. Uh, invest in your own website, social media, local branding, business cards, marketing materials. Get everything tightened up and have it matching and look very professional. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. You just have to have the, the, the willpower to want to do it. Online reviews matter to consumers. Um, influences behavior because consumers research your business. 97% of consumers read reviews. That's high. 84% um, trust online reviews, much as recommendations. That's why traditional print ads, billboards, whatever you're doing it, aren't as effective now as reviews because people are looking for testimonials. Um, an idea I just put down on here, have an iPad, a checkout for a guest to leave a review. They've had an experience. They're walking out the door. They're probably pretty happy. They've had a nice weekend, a week or whatever it is. Just say, would you mind leaving a review for us? The iPad is there and boom, you get the review. It's open to the Google My Business page and you get a review automatically. Very simple. Just try to get that done. It matters. SEO tools to audit and optimize your website. SEO, search engine optimization, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's, it's spending money to organically come up in listings higher. Um, with Carlos, you want, you know, Puerto Vallarta, luxury home rental, things like that. So you come up at the top of the listings. Um, within the guestie websites, there are tools in there. And one of them, I'm showing this, it's a tool that, uh, has a, a nominal monthly fee, and what it will do is it'll it'll show us what you need to do to optimize your website. You can put three competitors in there. It's like spy software. It'll tell you everything your competitors are doing. You pick the ones that are doing well, put them in here, and you can see the behind the scenes, what they're doing in their website, as well as it shows social media, traffic, everything, so you know who to 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 go after to try and get more traffic. So that comes with guesty websites is an additional charge, but it's really not a big one. Uh, this is an example of a, a Chicago, I'm in, I'm in Chicago at Hair Loss Doctor, which is ridiculously competitive in the Chicago market. Um, we optimize, we use the software, we did an advanced search engine optimization program that was reasonable. We optimize keywords, locations, Google My Business listings. From year, we did this in year two, from year two to three, 683% increase in form submissions. That's revenue. That's people want to do something. 561% increase in calls. So SEO does matter and does work. Um, another thing that's coming. And not many people are aware of this. We've just had a couple software meetings with ADA compliance and privacy policy companies. If you have any website, any, and you don't have privacy policies in terms of use, and you don't have ADA compliance, and those are those websites, and I show it here. This is our own website. You see there's a little, there's a little um, ADA compliance button there. And this is what it looks like when it pops up so people can adjust it live. 30, and I didn't know this until two days ago, 30% of website visitors are disabled. So by not having this, you're, you're eliminating 30% of people coming to your website, which is a lot, let alone it's the good and right thing to do ethically and morally for the human race. It's just, it's a good thing to do and then there's the stick. It's illegal. There are websites, and, and the reason we came up with this and, and hounded this for our clients, we've got, we host over 2,000 websites. If people don't have privacy policies and ADA compliance, you're subject to lawsuits, and the lawsuits are enormous. And we had um, a 
client, and they're not big websites either. One was a $3 million business and they have a $10,000 lawsuit and they'll spend 10,000 to get, get out of it or to do the right thing. So um, ADA compliance and privacy policies have native apps to guesty websites. They're, they're nominal fees. They're not a lot of money, but you can get them with guesty websites. And I would if say, if you have one, I would urge you to look at that because it's, it's something you need to do. Uh, convert more leads, drive up revenue, web chat. Here you can see the website. There's a, there's a little web chatty icon there, and this is what it pops up to be. I want to chat, call now, or leave a review, which is another way to get reviews, which is pretty slick. 41% um, of your clients, customers coming to your website, expect live chat. If you have it and your competitors don't, you have a leg up on them because Google did the study. These are Google numbers. Um, so if you want to get more clients, put a live chat on there. We have it on our website. We don't get chats that are just nothing. People want to do business with you when they're chatting. It's an AI bot, so you don't have to do anything. Within a minute or two, it comes into you as an email and just answer the people right away and you blow their minds and they're going to like you. They're going to feel pretty good about you. So this is, again, it's an a la carte, but it's not a lot of money for what it costs you per year to have it. If you had one or two bookings, it covers it for the year. So really smart idea. And again, it's, it's native in guesting websites. Streamline booking process. I think Yurene handled this very, very well. And again, I went through to book it yesterday. Actually, I just love the property. And I, I then I got to see the whole experience. But it's it's make it simple for your customers to do business with you. 78% customers have bailed on an intended, an intended transaction because of a poor experience. And that's from American Express. This is the guestie engine right here. And it's seamless and it's beautiful. And you're not going to get people complaining about it. It's it's what you want to do. Personalize. Again, Yareem talked about this a little bit, that with the guesty websites, there is pop-up software. This is that hair doctor I talked about before. This is the pop-ups. Um, a lot of people say those are annoying. I hate them. Well, you kind of have to get over that feeling because they convert at a ridiculous rate. And I wouldn't always have one on there, but if there are times of the year if you're going to Puerto Vallarta with a, with a Carlos place, you know, put, we'll put a pop-up up, up for three weeks before spring break, March, April, put it for Christmas time, put one up early December. If it's Thanksgiving time, wherever you're at, whatever country you're in, there's a couple times a year where these would be really be effective and important. And again, this comes with the, the guesty website software. It takes about 15 minutes to do one. They're very simple, very elegant and they convert. Gather yeah, emails, get social. I had seen in one of the questions um, I saw quickly when I, I was scanning it, someone talked about MailChimp. Um, not to get into the, the real details of it, but guesty websites, if you have a form on there, you can integrate MailChimp or Constant Contact and the name will go right into the database. I don't know if that's answering the question, but it's answering something else is that you can get you can have a Mailchimp and Constant Contact integration direct from your website, and it goes right in there, so you don't have to gather these, put them in your list, and update it. It, it takes quite a few steps away. Um, social media, we post a lot. Um, this was just one we we had a a, a due to website uh, thing that we we had. I posted on LinkedIn. I got three or four thousand people to look at it. We send out email blasts. Um, we'll send those out about twice a month, and just to keep connecting with people. Um, Sixty-four percent of customers cited shared values as the primary reason for a strong brand relationship. My values are in my company. I don't post a ton of business things. I post business and family things. It's uh, my wife works here. Two of my kids work here. We're a family business. That's who I am. If that appeals to you, 
it appeals to who I want it to appeal as to. If it doesn't, you just wanted business things, then that's not me. But but put your own personality out there and have it be reflective of you. And don't be afraid of it. The posts I'll put on a business one on LinkedIn, I'll say we've launched a new website for a, 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 a whatever, and I'll get five or 600 people see it. I'll post a picture of my daughter and myself at I took her to Mayo Clinic a couple months ago, and there were 7,000 people that saw it. So let yourself, don't be afraid to share who you really are. Uh, customers who engage with companies over social media spend 20 to 40% more money with those companies. Um, on average, loyal customers are worth up to 10 times as much as their first purchase. And hopefully, I, I would think the guesty people are going to be sharing some of these things with you. I'm not going through all the details, but there's some really good stats in here that are that are important to know. Other ideas. What, look how happy she is. That's because we built, just built her a website. That's, our law clients look that happy. Um, is what we do when we build websites for you, hopefully is we'll put four to six lead funnels on the homepage. And some clients say, why do you have that? You have a client, you have a form on the footer. Why do you have a couple other buttons that, that say contact us? Why? Because Google told us four to six lead funnels on the homepage is what you need to convert better. So that's what we do. We don't guess with this. We've learned from Google. Uh, map of your location on all pages. Not all companies do this. We want to put a map on there. You're booking one of your properties. I don't, whatever page I'm on, I want to be able to scroll to the bottom and say, yeah, that's where they're at. Okay, I get it, especially mobile. And when we build our, our sites with Guesty website software, it perfectly scales to mobile, and that's really important. Um, great images. No, you do not have to have a professional photographer and spend $3,000 to have photos. All the photos we use on our sites and our client sites are taken with iPhones or Samsung phones. They're good enough. Just someone with a good eye, capture it at the highest quality you can and put it on your website. The pictures, no one cares what the words are saying. They're going to care what the price is, what the amenities, et cetera, are, but they're really looking at your pictures. Uh, place for your guests, guests to post images on your website. Put, Please send your picture and we'll post it. Why do you want to do it? Because if you post it, they're going to show 20 to 30 people, which is going to get people going to your website, driving traffic. Gather yeah, emails. And again, Yurene talked about it, incentives to book, time of year, ret returning guests, multiple nights, get one free, et cetera. Anybody that contacts us today, if you wanted to, we would do privacy policy for one year, a web chat for three months, $100 value. That's just, if you choose to do it, that'd be fine. I'm Nat at Owl Street Design. Just say, Nat's awesome. And he told me about this guesty website offer. And that's it. Let's get booking. For that, I will turn it over to my good friend, Carlos, at this point. He's next, right? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for your great presentation, Nat, Yarin, and Keegan. Definitely, you have shared the most important parts of, of Guesty, and, and you're the expert and the man on the marketing side. So, we will, we're going to be brief. We don't have too much time yet. So I'm going to tell you a bit of Capitalia and what do we do with Guesty and how, how Guesty has changed our business. So Capitalia is one of the leading property managers in Mexico. We work with three main standards. We use technology. We try to give the most personal attention. And we set up quality standards. And this has um, changed our business a lot because with good technology, you can automate most of the process of the booking, of the guest experience. And Guesty has been an amazing tool for us uh, doing so. Capitalia operates more than 200 units in Mexico. Uh, uh, as we mentioned, we manage some units in Mexico City, but we also manage some other beautiful places in Puerto Vallarta, Cozumel, and Acapulco. And later on on the on the on the website on the presentation, you will see a, 
an amazing, an amazing code for direct booking, as we saw before. So we manage luxury condos, villas, multi-unit buildings, and all of this um, has been a great, great challenge for us. We started doing business mainly with Airbnb. And since we started growing, we saw that there's opportunity with other channels. Of course, we work a lot with Booking. We work a lot with Expedia, but we're also part of Marriott Homes and Villa. So we have a very specific set of properties where we can create an amazing strategy. And this generates 65% of our business. The other 35% of our business is it's, it's everything why, uh, that Garin and Keegan mentioned before. We use the Guesty website, we use the CRM, we use the direct reservation. We have uh, a team of great guys uh, giving all this reservation, all this uh, specific. We have a lot of, of tools to do uh, specific agreements with companies around Mexico City and around Puerto Vallarta, as not mentioned. And these guys don't want to go to Airbnb or Expedia. They like to go and book direct. They want to speak to someone. And Guesty gives us that tool to do so. Of course, of the direct conversation, we have the tools to send a beautiful quote with all the information, with a direct discount, with everything, um, everything detailed over there. But they can also, as Nat uh, mentioned before, they can look uh, our our listings on Airbnb, Expedia, or the rest of the of the channels, and they and they say, "Hey, this is Capitalia. I'm gonna look for them." And they go on the website and they go and look for Capitalia, and they give and they get this beautiful website created within Guesty. So when we started. Uh, this has been hyper growth for us. Our company has jumped from in the past two or three years from 20 properties all the way to 200. So we've seen that going there and developing technology ourselves, it's quite time consuming. There's huge, huge risks. So there's no way to, to be sure that something is going to, to work. So when we were presented at Guestival, the, the um, new website, we, we thought this is the, the best way to do it. So it's secure, it's user-friendly. There's beautiful templates within. So if you're not very, very expert on marketing, you can do it yourself. So it's very easy to update. Everything is interconnected to Guesty and you can get your availability, your rates, all your promotions, everything perfectly connected. You can add a lot of widgets or additional apps as not uh, shown before that you can get the chat or you can get the ADAs, uh, the ADAs compliance stuff onto the website. And it's really, really uh, uh, flexible and really for user friendly. So, you don't need to code. You don't need to be a hacker uh, to to create your own website. So it's really easy to use, and we're very happy with it. Apart from that, uh, we've seen that there are lots of tools that helps you increase your visibility around the web. You get Google Analytics. You get ACOs. You get a connection to the SSL. You get connection to to your existing domain and this uh, as not mentioned he's the expert but we've seen as users that this, this actually works this actually helps you be on top of the google searches so it's very very amazing so here we're sh we're showing a bit on the keywords that uh, if you're looking for top rental properties in mexico you're gonna get our our website. So this is an example. Of course, uh, Yarin uh, showed it before much better, but this is what we currently use and it works. So we're very happy to it. And after you already build everything and you have created a great website, you need to bring the guests to the to the to the website. So we have created 
search engine traffic campaigns. We work with a lot with Google AdWords. We work a, a lot with social media ourselves. We have uh, community managers and, and great marketing guys and team where they, they do take professional photography and they do post beautiful images around social media. There's specific social media for each one of the, the guests or the properties you're trying to, to get. Uh, for instance, for our corporate uh, business, we use a lot of LinkedIn, but for our more um, vacation-wise properties, we use uh, a lot of Instagram. And we've seen that, uh, and we're trying to start with TikTok and, and rest of the, the social media. So it's great. Uh, uh, email marketing, it's also important for us. We get a huge database of all the reservation from all the properties that we manage. We get these emails and we send email blasts with promotions with specific codes for them to book. We get, and, and we mentioned before, the codes or the offers to your direct booking. It's very important for us. It's very important to get uh, reservations directly instead of going through uh, the channel. So we give and we try to to be always on our own website with a better pricing. And there's there's lots of rest of, of strategies that we've been doing, like remarketing, industry influencers. We send the influencers to our properties and they generate traffic. Uh, and we the, the blogs, it's very important. Uh, they also create great ACOs. Uh, there's a lot of content and there's lots of information that we currently have for our guests already available. So it's very easy for us to post it to our website. So this also helps a lot. This is some examples that you can see on Google or you can see on Facebook and you get this beautiful property that we manage in Puerto Vallarta. Um, there's also these different a campaign on Google AdWords that helps us. And everything, of course, it's connected. You can get the analytics and you get the pixel for for social media and you you have to, to measure. And if you don't measure it, you don't know if it's working. So we really recommend to measure it. And just to finalize, uh, we can uh, definitely give uh, everyone else uh, the chance to book at any of our properties with the code guest it ten off, uh, any of the um, of the guys on the call, of course they can go there to capitalia.co and use the code. It will get a ten percent discount. It's a great way to show it off that we currently use what we what we said. And if you need some help managing your properties professionally or anything else, here's my contact information. Uh, we will be really happy to help. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you so much, Carlos. I also kind of want to just jump into a big question here because we had a lot of really positive elements of direct bookings come through in today's presentation, talking about different strategies like optimizing SEO, driving Facebook ads and Google AdWords. Um, and I, I imagine if I'm sitting in the audience today, I'm really excited to get started. But I'm more, I'm wondering, is there something I need to be aware of? What what are the uh, you know top one or two items I need to be sure I have down lock before I roll out an advanced uh, booking website? Um, so let's go ahead and start with uh, Carlos, since since you're kind of coming from the property management aspect here, what were some of the considerations you had to make when diving into start launching your direct booking website that um, you wish someone had told you a, a week before, maybe you were really focused on just to be sure that it, it was processed smoothly? Yeah, definitely, Keegan. So we've seen that, of course, you're saving money uh, getting direct bookings, but there's also some risk involved. You don't have a platform that supports you. There's no Airbnb where if a guest does something wrong, uh, you can go to support and tell them, hey guys, this is a problem and the they guests are creating a party on my place or, or they created a damage or something else. So we definitely recommend having 
additional control for that specific and direct uh, bookings. Some of the ways are validating their, their checking information, who is gonna stay at the property. Uh, another of the, of the solutions, um, it's getting an insurance. There's great options here with Guesty as well, but there's also another on the market that we recommend on security deposits. So when you get Airbnb, they can back you up with something. And if you're you're getting direct bookings, you're on your own. So you need to protect yourself uh, a, a bit better. There's nothing to be scared of. It's not really something to worry about. Just make sure that you're doing things right. For sure. Uh, Nat, anything to add there in terms of kind of words of caution, but still encouraging people to, to get into the direct booking game here? I, I just think, I think the cautionary tale is if you don't, you're not in the game. All right. All right. Hot take. Hot take. I love it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just cover yourself with ADA and privacy and you're, you're probably not going to get sued anyway, but just cover that. Get in the game. You have to. Perfect. So to summarize, get in the game, the, the cautionary tale is to not get involved. Um, and then uh, to Carlos's point in terms of guest kind of damage prevention or making sure you're preventing uh, guests that you would normally not want to come through to stay to your property. You can utilize certain tools, whether it's a third-party tool like AutoHost um, that verifies guest verification before they come through. You can do it yourself through guests' check-in forms or rental agreements to require a uh, perhaps a photo ID before someone can actually confirm a reservation with you. And then lastly, we have a damage protection software through Guesty or through any third-party partners that are connected to us, um, like Superhog or Safely. But we have our own Guesty Shield platform that integrates directly with Guesty, which I'm naturally going to plug at the end of this webinar. <laughs> and, um, and so that's something that you want to be aware of because where Airbnb kind of has their million-dollar host guarantee, your the host for this website. So you need to be sure that you have some type of coverage in case some damage does take place um, for one of those stays. With that being said, um, I wanted to thank everyone for coming today for this uh, webinar. Thank you so much, Nat, Carlos, and Yurin for taking time out of your day to speak to the people. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great day and get these direct booking websites launched.